Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Angel Ice Hammer, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to get a user controller to play Wizards 101. So let's help you out with like pet derbies, organists want to relax, so lay back in front of the TV, and user controller to play Wizards 101. It's this controller thing will do that for you, which is really cool. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that, and let's just get right into the video. And Happy New Year's! I forgot to say, uh, I couldn't up uh, whatever I upload is Happy New Year's it might be today or tomorrow, which is the first of January. No more consecutive, you know, let's see, 12, 13, 14 anymore. But that's fine. It's a whole new year, so let's start over. And my resolution for this year is going to get be to get a 1,000 subscribers because I really try to make my videos different from everyone else and high quality. And they're, everyone else is really good. I'm just trying to get up there with them. And that's really cool. Let's crush them. Let's, you know, freeze them because we're the Ice Angel Army. And that's going to be really cool. And don't forget, I haven't forgotten about my series with Jack. I'm still going to be uploading those. Again, I lost all my recording footage because my laptop broke. So I'm going to have to re-record stuff with Jack, which is fine. Um, I still have one PvP footage because I uploaded it to my Google Drive. Just for some strange reason. I don't know. But I'm still going to post that. I'm still going to do my Let's Play with the Radiant Fire Flame. Uh, since I'm doing PvP with Jack, that has to be on a halt because we're doing level 15. Next, I'll be doing a PvP guide for level 20. It's gonna be really cool. And anyways, let's get right into let's get right into the video and let me show you guys. So right now, I don't. Uh, you can use an Xbox controller, PlayStation controller to do it. I'm using my Pro X controller. I bought it off Amazon or eBay or something like that. I got it. I found it in my drawer. Whatever. Uh, let's see. If you guys want a tutorial on how to use a PlayStation controller, or Xbox controller, just put in the comments. You know, like, subscribe. Same thing as always. Let's see. Let me find my devices. Is that what it is? Uh, blue snowball. No. Uh, I think it's like game controllers. Ah, it's not plugged in. That would make sense. Okay, we just plug that in. Let's view devices now. Pro X controller right there. Apparently it's still setting up. But, oh, there we go. Game controller. My Pro X controller. It's pretty good. Uh, it looks like a an old place controller kind of I don't know so basically what we're gonna do is open this uh, I put in the description it's called pinnacle game profiler yeah that's what it's called so I'm gonna open it and it's gonna load for a while uh, wait for that to turn on if I click it well, I think I have to run in administrator mode Load. Yes, no, maybe. I don't know what's that turning on. Uh, hmm. That is weird. Let's try that again. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Now it's turning on. Okay. So, uh, I have my controller. I'm opening up Pinnacle Game Profiler. And I'm going to show you guys step by step how to set up the profile to play with someone. See, I have my profile down there. But I'm going to go delete that if I can. I'm pretty new to this myself. But as it is a trial, but I, if you want the free version, you can get it cracked or you can buy it. So you can get the cracked full version. There's no viruses. You want me to give you a link to that in the description, put in the comments. So I don't know if I'm allowed to do that, but if you guys want, I can message you the link or whatever. Okay, so basically we're going to go to game profiles right in the top right corner. In this case I can't seem to tell you what I'm doing. So I'm gonna click new. And then you're going to open this dot dot dot. And then go to wherever you have Wizard 101. I have it on my desktop right there. So I'm going to click Wizard 101 and click open. And now you can, now it says Wizard 101. And then you click OK. Now click create empty profile. And then click do not, or you don't have to click do not prompt again. Then click OK. And then click edit configurations. Once you do that, the main controls you need. Okay, so basically, I'm mapping my left joystick, the one right there, 
to my arrow keys and then I'm going to be mapping the right joystick to my mouse. So the right joystick will move around the mouse and the left will move around the, us, the wizard. Now this is going to be my left button. So I'm going to right click the no command, click mouse, and then click mouse button, mouse button left. This will be my jump button. So I'll right click no command and then press space bar. That's my jump button. And then, so we have the, and then this will be our right click button. So we're going to right click no command, click mouse, click mouse button, mouse button right. Okay, now let's do the start button. You can click the buttons of the controller to know where they all are. So I'm going to right click the start button and click escape. Now that is our st uh, escape. So we'll press start to go to options, right click to discard spells, X to jump, and then the left button will be our square. Now, if you want other commands, that's for you, you can do that for yourself, but these are the main commands that you need to play the game. So I'm going to save and close, and now I'm going to click, uh, you can click set as default, but you only have one, so there's only one default. I'm going to click OK, and then I'm click play. You can print out your commands. I don't need to, I memorized that already. Uh, you can print it, show this before playing. I'm not, I'm just going to, or I am. And then I'm going to click close. Now, which one on opens automatically for you, which is a pretty cool feature. And wait for that to open. There we go. Don't judge my username. I had this when I was like, literally like five. <laughs> I'm gonna log in. Ooh, 30% on memberships, bundles, etc. Okay. That's cool, Ice Dragon 2, that's not our spell. Anyways, let that log in. Might be a little slow because, oh, not really. Um, I have more or less action, but it's not working right now. It's right here. I, I can't record my desktop for some reason, so I'm using Bandicam. It's a good alternative. I can do reviews on both. Um, I prefer more or less action. It's a really good software. Cost a few, but you can get the cracked version. Uh, I got the full version. And I bought it because I might as well get be, you know, honest for a change. There, click play. And that's turning on right now. Load the power pips. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uno, dos, dos. Me trying to beatbox. I'm going to stop now for you guys like dislike because that was really bad. Okay, it's turning on right now. Okay, so right now I'm using, I turned on smooth click mode. I already have done this before, so I use my control now. You can hear it and stuff. That's annoying. And okay, now my left click button, remember, is square. So I'm going to click square. Logs me right in. Now let's try all the buttons. So remember, my left stick was my moving button, so I can move around my left and move the mouse with the right, as I'm doing right now. Okay, so the left is going to be the X button. I'm jumping right now. Okay, the square is the right click. So if you want to like toggle the screen, like keep the same view, that's cool. Move the mouse and stuff like that. So we got that. Everything's loading because it's the new laptop or the old laptop technically. Um, X to jump, start to do escape, and then you can right click and stuff like that. Left click to go into deck and all my stuff. Let's close that, and yeah, so you can see how this works, it's a pretty cool setup, and hope you guys, this video was very informational, I hope you guys out, if you guys enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe, I really try to make my videos awesome for you guys, cause you know, you guys are the army, you have to have a lot of morale in our army, and um, it really means a lot when you see good comments and, and um, good views on my videos, cause it really, like, it inspires me, kind of. And a lot of YouTubers say that, but it really does. It really means a lot when people enjoy the videos. And hope you guys enjoyed my video. Hope this video helped. And have a nice day. Bye.